times am I going to have to talk to Kendall about that knee brace? He's talking about that knee brace. He just slapped the natural's arm with that knee brace again. You're not saying that that knee brace might be loaded. Oh, not at all. Not with GG Cruz, I can tell you that. If you were talking about Jewel or maybe the natural, you wouldn't put that past those two men. What? Head full of hair kick down there and a tag made, and we have had so many tags in this one. Ah, beautiful hip toss take down there. The natural is in trouble right back to work on that arm. What an exciting match thus far. This one's just is off the get go here. Take a listen to all those great fans joining us here live for Main Event Wrestling, enjoying all this great action. There is a buzz out here, beautiful blue skies as you can see. And this action, the natural trying to regain his composure. Oh, shot to the break, or it should have been a break actually, to the break basket nonetheless. Reversal here, GG Cruz on fire. The natural, wow, the natural just ducked out of the way and that chin. Now Cruz just met the turnbuckle. Another Irish foot now into the back. And, and now it's a, remove, a reverse. I can barely talk here. This one's been some great action so far. And a tag being made. It's one in there now. This diamond. Get my breath here. This one has been one of the most exciting tags I've ever seen here in the WSWA. Irish rake to the eyes there and a tag made. Yeah, and rake the eyes. He was just checking what numbers were under the paint. Going to work now on the arm. Brian Jewell walked into that arm drag of Gene Swan. And all four men, this one could have just as easily been two single matches here with a few going between Jewell and Swan. And of course, T.G. Cruz in the natural. Both of those, oh, he just went to work on that left knee again. And that one, whoa, another one. And I don't know why, actually, I cannot believe that Swan did not listen to the doctors who stayed out of this match. He should have, because now Bad Roy's got him exactly where he wants him. He's going to rip a few more ligaments. Trying to pull that knee right out of the socket there, going to work knee to knee. And Joel, you know, I hate to say it, folks, but he's doing the right thing. you got to take advantage of a man's disadvantage. The back is still buzzing, though, trying to get the momentum going here for the team of Cruz and Swan, and he is just applying a lot of pressure right now is the bad boy on that knee, and obviously that was the game plan from the start of this match. He could have just broken that knee. Look at the natural, beautiful. Way to go, Dan. He's just pumping him up. Keep going, bad boy. Double team effort here now as Jewel holds them. They're going to work on that left knee, and I cannot, oh, another knee. I cannot believe this one is still in this match. He is running in pain as we speak. I have never seen bigger smiles on the face of a bad boy at natural. They are going to work on that knee. This could actually end the career of Swan. I cannot believe he's in there. That's like a bird walking up to a cat and saying, my wing is wounded. Eat me. He just dropped that knee, that bare knee now as he took down the knee pad. See, they keep dragging the him to the corner. Listen to the fans yelling Tomahawk, trying to get Swan back on his feet. The referee is having words now, and this gives Jewel the advantage. Jewel took a piece of plastic from one of the chairs there and just rammed it into the back of that left knee, which is what he can't even get up. Look at the natural. He knows that he's going to drag him right back to their corner where they should take him. This has to be frustrating for G.G. Cruz. Not much left in his partner. Oh, no, I cannot believe this match is not ended. The referee, why doesn't he call this match? Well, if Chico was any kind of partner, he should have called Swan to stay in the dressing room. Look at that. Now he's yelling to the cameras. He's being hurt a little bit. One of the most maniacal and sadistic men in wrestling. We're talking about the natural. He would like nothing better than end the career of Gene Swan, who has been more than just a thorn in both of those men's sides. Look at that. Bare knee right down again on the side. Working over. I oh. think the ref just threw a foreign object out of Gene Swan's knee pad. I don't think so. Cartilage and ligament damage done for sure. And Swan, I, I, he has to definitely make a tag, Jimmy. He's got it, but that's if he can get to the corner. Bad boy. And the natural just keep playing with him, letting him get halfway and dragging him right back. Folks, take a good look. This might be the last time you ever see Gene Swan. Don those wrestling boots, those wrestling tights again. 
If there is severe damage done to that knee, the referee hasn't stopped this match. Why? We can't answer that here. That might be the last time you ever see Gene Swan walking. Never mind in the ring. That is a very good point. DJ Cruz has to do something. They have to stop. This They're beating this man senseless in there, working over that knee. I cannot believe Gene Swan has got that much left in him. I can't believe Swan hasn't just submitted already. Look at that, another devastating knee drop now from the top rope this time. These two men are having no more than just fun in there right now, taking their time, and you know what, for the first time in wrestling history, these two men have time to do that. There's nothing Swan can do. Did you hear what the natural just said? He just said, I'm coming after you, Brunzel. This is going to be your leg. That's exactly what he's doing. He is using Gene Mark as a benchmark, or Gene Swan as a benchmark. I am losing my train of thought here at ringside. Cruz has to be frustrated. He was asking the referee to do something. Okay, CJ Cruz is in there now. Get him out of there. The referee is done. Look at that. Buff better go to work on Swan. It's about time that the referee did something you didn't like. I cannot believe it. Look at that bad boy back in the corner. Kenny Ed Flip is... That's why they should have more than one referee in a match. Like, look at that. You can't even put the leg, any pressure on that leg. Well, whose fault is that? Look at this now. A form of the backbreaker this time. A form of that knee. Wow. If this isn't it for Gene Swan, folks, I don't know what is. He's about as close as he's been in this contest to making a tag in there. They're just pulling him across the ring, another tag leg. I'll tell you what, thing, this team of Jules and Brown in a press call, oh, look at that leg drop now. Jimmy, why you got this pull on your face? I can't help it. I'm enjoying the match just as much as, as bad boy in the natural. Something has to be done. I can't even believe for one time for one of Tony Cardello has to step foot in there. We're done something. Well, I can never find him when I want to talk to him. They are doing some damage to this kid, folks. It has to be frustrating at home as it is for me here at ringside. Squad, he's got a little bit of fight left in him. He's pulling the hair. A couple of shots there that didn't work. As Jewel has still got a lot left in him. It's been all Jewel. Look at that. It's been all Jewel in the natural thus far. This has been the craziest I've ever seen. Jeez, what I have to say. Get Pico out of the ring. Look at him now. Somewhere around when the bell rang and they went to work on Gene Swan's knee. 
Nonetheless, they are double teaming now. Gene Chico's the referee. Go get one of those guys out of there. Never mind looking at us here at ringside. The mod kick that lands. There is something that's got to be done about the officials. There's something that has to be done about some of the rules. There is no call for this two-on-one predicament here, and they are doing the damage. Now, look at that. About 10 flurries there that land on Chi Chi Cruz, and the referee finally decides to get... Look at... They're not even listening. Why not disqualify them? They got a five pound. That's under by Cruz now. Look at that double close line. And listen to the fans. They are just the buzzers. I can't believe Chico's doing this. Double leg drop. This kid, I'll tell you what, I've never seen that young man this impressive. He went to pin both. Chi-Chi Cruz now in the natural double act panel. This one could turn it around here. They are both going berserk now. They are both tired of being embarrassed by the one man known. Look at that, they just tossed the referee. Maybe now, maybe if anything, that knocks some fence in a referee, Kenny Ashcliff. What's he ringing the bell for? I think he has just disqualified Jewel and the natural, something that should have happened a few minutes ago. And they tossed the referee. I can't look at that. Who's this? Franzel has come. Why is he in there now? Franzel has come to AGC Cruz. Holy cow, the natural has gone one way. And Brian Jewel has gone the other. Thank God for jumping Jimmy Franzel who has come to the aid of his friend. Flex Cruz is almost going to take a swing at Brazil here. Brazil's trying to calm him down. He should have taken a swing. He interfered in his match. Who knows? I, and I thought maybe the score was going to be settled this week, Jimmy, but if anything, they just added more fuel to the fire. Whether it's Brunzel or Brown, maybe the natural or Jewel, the referee... The referee has no contest. Well, All right, wrestling fans, Tony Mariani back here in the WFWA controls. I don't think they've locked up more than once in this match. I can't tell. I'll tell you what, if Champagne Jerry Morrow is trying to take that into his own hands, it'll lead to a count out disqualification, raising the fist now to Chi Chi Cruz. And Cruz, he's ready for him. He's inviting him back into the ring. Well, I think Morrow's trying to say.